everyone, it's Lynette with Charmed Grammy Crochet. Today is March 30th, and this is Charm Chatter number 40. <laughs> yeah, I'm cheating. I'm looking. <laughs> I want to thank y'all for coming. Thanks to my um, subscribers who keep coming back. Thanks to any new subscribers. Uh, or if you're just watching and you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that button. Um, it's free. Then you can hit the little bell. It's also free. Then you get notified if I come up with more videos. So I have just a couple of finished objects, but I'm so excited about them. Um, as you can see, I finished my top. Now I will turn this a little so we can see it all. Maybe all of it. Here. Uh, it's about, can't get too much further away. Oh, there you go. You can see it all. Um, so this is what it looks like. And it's just easy um this is my first non-pattern ever uh article of clothing um so there's that i really like the way it turned out i think it's gorgeous and i have a tank under it just a um gray tank but i don't think that i have to wear the tank under it um the holes yeah, maybe I do. Okay, that's all right. I designed it thinking I'd have to wear the tank under it. Uh, well, I can't say I really designed it, but I put it together when I made the stitch. I did, It's not my stitch. Okay, so let's go with that. <laughs> um, the stitch pattern is a pattern from Bag O'Day, uh, which I will link all the patterns, anything that, you know, in the bottom underneath uh, in the description box. It is the Whisper Angel Whisper baby blanket pattern that she came up with. Um, so I liked the pattern and I uh, I was originally going to make something else out of this. And I can't remember what it was. But then I decided I want it as a top for summer. It's, um, well, my house is set at 73 degrees. I'm quite comfortable with this on. It's got like just a little a little bit of a sleeve down like that's what I wanted uh, 90 degree heat probably not so much uh, today outside it's I'm gonna say 60 ish today the weather is gonna be um, but it's cloudy I would wear this I mean I'm comfortable in my house with this on right now in the dead of winter I would not be because um, there's no sleeves but are not long sleeves you know but it's warm enough. Uh, I'm not too hot. So um, it's fabulous. I like that a lot. Uh, let's see, what else did I want to say? Um, I used three, this is the end of the third cake of uh, Karen uh, cotton cakes. And this is the colorway nestled blues thank you so much trish uh trisha mama swift sent this to me in my in our yarn swap so i could finish my my shirt basically i probably made it bigger than what i should have um this is the first time that i've ever crocheted anything i think specifically with no pattern at all uh like all on my own um so i took the the blanket pattern because I like the stitch uh, and I made two small rectangles sewed them to make a V neck. I did not put any edging around the necks special because it's got like a little bit of a scallop anyway and it's a finished edge. Um, so like the it worked in this way. So I put the two finished edges because I kind of like a little bit of a scallop. But it also, I don't know how, well, because you folded it in half. I, I don't know. Um, anyway, it's the same on the sleeves. There's like a nice looking edge there, so I did not re-edge it. The bottom, however, did not look that way. Um, because actually, the you when you crocheted it, you crocheted it back and forth this way. And then I turned the panel sideways. So the back and forth edges of the rectangle... Uh, horizontally had nice edges the sides had um 
more gappy edges. Well, the sides of the rectangle actually became the bottom of the top because it turned the rectangles lengthwise, fold them in half, uh, stitch up a V-neck, um, and the back is a V as well. And then I just stitched up for armholes to, you know, whatever length I wanted. So when I was making this, it's like 27 rows each panel. And I, it's probably a little bit big. Um, I wanted it to be blousey and loose because it's summer. I didn't, you know, in it. So anyway, I wasn't sure what to do. So that's what I did. But it was too baggy at the bottom. Um, it was like too flouncy. I didn't want it that flouncy. So I did a row of double crochet across the bottom edge. And then I uh, did this stitch all the way across, two rows of this specific stitch. Not the part where you chained in the middle, just these are um, double crochet clusters. Uh, so I did rows of that. And uh, I did two rows of that. It brought it in and made it not so, because I didn't do like chaining in between or anything, I think it, you know, which is what I wanted. So it brought it in a little and um, gave me a little bit of a flounce to the top. And I totally, totally love it. Really easy to do. Um, so any, anybody could do it. Any, you know, pick a pattern that you'll like, make two rectangles and sew them together, you know. If the edge is here, I could, and maybe I should. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I add? I don't think so. I, I mean, I like it the way it is, so I think I would just want to leave it. Um, but you could add, like, single crochet or, or whatever kind of edging you want at the collar uh, around the sleeves. If, you know, whatever. I, I like it the way it is, so I'm leaving it. I'm very happy with it. Um, and, yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe I could wear it without the tank top i don't know i mean because look look at the shoulders your skin shows uh if i was thin i definitely would <laughs> uh being fluffy i probably won't wear it without a tank top underneath so that's that and if i hadn't i you know i want like i said i wanted it to be baggy and i wanted it to have sleeves that come down a little bit um you know for more spring and fallish wear so if I had brought these in a couple, um, I probably wouldn't have needed to, you know, I, I could have gone with less rows. If I made it again, um, I wouldn't make it as wide, but I would definitely do this type of top it was really easy. Um, so that's that. And I think, um, there's probably enough of this left because basically I had a like finish a row and then sewed it together and then did the bottom ribbing, uh, edging out of this cake. Um, and that's, that's what I use this for. So I, I think Amanda really liked this pattern and, and she liked the colors and the fabric. Uh, so I think I want to see if there's enough that I could make her a top. Uh, just like a tank, something tighter. She's got a much, she's got a nice body. She works out. She can wear something tight. Um, and her and Chloe could probably fight over it actually. Uh, so I, I think because there's a lot of yarn left here, um, that, or I will make a, um, shawlette out of it because I love shawlettes. So that's this. And I have a lot of these in different colors but not usually three cakes worth. <laughs> so I think I could make another top. I would go not as wide and a little bit longer, uh, maybe. Maybe not longer because the length really is, uh, I thought it was gonna be shorter when I was fitting it together. And I was like, oh, but now that it's together and it's on, it's not too short. So I'm happy with that. Then the other finished object, where did it go? Oh my gosh, here it is. You guys, I finished my, this is the Anna Lucia shawl. Look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? I hope I'm showing you the front. 
I am. <laughs> Isn't it gorgeous? The colors are fabulous. Obviously, that's the yarn. The pattern is beautiful. Um, so this pattern has a, you start when, where this orange is, like all of this up here at the top. Let me scoot my chair closer. All of this at the top is like just the beginning. Then somewhere in here you start your repeat and you do all these double crochet rows and then you go to this. And so it's a 10 row repeat, but it started like seven rows in before you start the repeat. And the repeat is, you know, these, um, you know, all of this, like you can see here and then it's repeated here where you go with the just double crochet stitches. Totally love the pattern. It's very pretty. I am not the biggest fan of just rows of double crochet stitches. Um, even if they're front root back, back loop, I, I get really bored with that. So I got through the, the original pattern. I don't believe it was designed for such a thin weight yarn. This is a two weight yarn and I'll go over the yarn with you in a minute. Um, and when I got to somewhere in these shades right here, the, the yellow and greens. I don't think I got all the way to the green. The last video I had, I showed you my progress and how much, like I hadn't touched anything in the blues and the pattern was over. Like it, it the original pattern called for four, um, 10 row repeat four times. So you start with seven like rows and then you get into your 10 row repeat. And then um, you do that repeat four times. And then there was a three row border and the border is uh, just the shell part of the design. So when I got to the end of that, I was into these greeny, yellow and green colors. So I had all this blue and green to go and teal, which I, I wasn't going to not do those colors because they're gorgeous. So I just kept repeating more or less the not so much the I didn't do as many rows of the just double crochet stitch but I went into more of the shell rows uh, because I like that part better <laughs> so this was the entire cake this is what's left <laughs> I just I'm like I'm going until I'm either blind or I run out of yarn so this is what was left and I say the blind thing because this is a two weight. It is, as you can see, pretty thin. And, you know, you can, I could, like, after a while, I can't focus on this thin yarn. It's like, oh, my eyes are cross-eyed. Everything, <laughs> I look away, everything is blurry. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, I will, I love the yarn. I love the way it feels. I love the way it drapes. It is simply beautiful and I will um let me see if I can stand up and show you oh sorry <laughs> didn't mean to jiggle you <laughs> I kicked it so you can see and it's long like it comes out I wanted it really to be longer this way um hang down lower on my body because it hangs like to the bottom of my rear end which isn't bad, but I really thought it would be longer. Uh, I want a longer out of this weight yarn. Look at how it drapes. Look at, isn't it just stunning? The colors are fabulous for summer. Um, I couldn't be happier with it. And, you know, it's this size, but because it's so thin, like you can easily just throw it over your shoulders uh, if you did it evenly. And... You know, just a nice little wrap and see how beautiful it is in the back. But it's, so if I put it, yeah, see like it hangs to the like top. I don't know. Can you see? And, and I want, I want a wrap made out of this yarn uh, that's going to hang like mid, uh, maybe, I, I would really like it to be long enough to be like mid calf. Um, so I'm thinking maybe cape style more than shaw style because it's still so lightweight, but I don't want all this. So this is what, so, <laughs> so 
So here's my problem. I totally love this. And oh, this is what else I was going to tell you about it. It's thin, like this yarn is thin enough that if I wanted to even wear it as a shawlette, you, you won't, you like really kind of could, you know, you could tuck that in and have it like I could wear it outside in the chilliness, you know, even in the winter if I wanted, because you could just gather it up and wear it. And it's not too bulky because the yarn is so thin. So it's like a perfect, perfect thing. I did not block this, by the way. I did want to tell you that. Mm -hmm. um, so let's talk about the yarn. It is, um, this yarn is Stitch Studio uh, from AC Moore. It is, um, the colorway was like, it's got color names like blue, green, orange or something. Uh, it is, here's a cake of this yarn. I only had one on that colorway. Uh, this one, so I can give you the details on it. It is 193 yard, 1,093 yards. It is 100% cotton. Um, so it's a thousand meters. It's made in Turkey. This one is called purple, red, pink. Huh? I thought that was just a deep, I wouldn't have called that purple, but whatever. I would have just called it all red, red and white. Um, anyway, this is by Stitch Studio that was sold by AC Moore. AC Moore is now selling some Stitch Studio yarns. I have not seen them have this one. But this is very similar to, I don't know if it's Hobie or Hobium that sells, or maybe they both sell a yarn very similar to this. Uh, this is made in Turkey, so it's probably the same yarn. They're beautiful. The colors are stunning. So, that being said, I want to make another. I want it to be long, like I was talking about. I want it to come down to, like, my mid probably mid calf. So I hope two skeins would be enough. I have two of this color. I have two of this color. It's like pinks and purple lavenders and then gray. And then this is my favorite for summer. I have two of this color. It's lavender and teal or lavender and lime and white. Um, so I have two of those, of each of those, and I could, and I, this would be whatever, if you have a pattern, if y'all know of a pattern that would be that way, I don't want a lot of double crochet, just rows of double crochet. So like even just the shell stitch part of this, uh, the shawl that, which is downstairs, I wear it all the time. The shell uh, pattern that Trish made me of that shawl, but I don't want like the sides to be extremely long, you know, like a full cape would be like long around my arms. I don't want it covering up my whole arms. So like the triangular thing is what I'm thinking. If you guys think of something else, that would be awesome. Um, so I, I, I don't know that I could create my own stitch pattern. I don't know that I'm that good then. So that's question number one. Do you guys know of a pattern that would be good like that? Cause I would love to try it. Uh, and it would have to be a tutorial because of its shells and stuff like that. I wouldn't be able to follow a pattern on my own, a written pattern. I'm not that good at those. So then the second thing is I want it to be like lacy and for summer. Um, and it'll probably take me all summer to make it because I'm telling you, I worked really long hours on that shawl and I literally couldn't see it <laughs> when I would put, you know, put it down. I would have to put it down just so I could see. So I, I think I would have to work longer time period, less hours, but I wanted to get it done because I wanted to see it finished. So anyway, back to this. So then if I use two cakes, should I like color control and do all the purple, then all the greens or yellows then all the greens and all the whites, or just let it gradiate and do it twice. What do you think about that? Um, and like I said, I have the red, the um, with the gray border, what do they call this one? Dark purple, light purple, pink. Now, come on, that's a gray border. That color at the edge. So, anyway, I have two of those. I have two of the reds. What do they call this one? Oh, yeah, this is the purple, red, pink. I don't know, it's got a white center. And then this one is called 
tan green purple tan somebody doesn't know their colors very well <laughs> that's yellow in there anyway yellow and white i love i love all of them then i also have one of each of these colors which how stunning right i think if i wanted to do a double cake of these probably put all of the white together then all of the red and then go into the tan uh you know grays then blacks but i kind of love the idea of having the red at the top or at the bottom so probably if i started with the black and then did this started this one and did the black and then start the outside of this one and went to the red that could be gorgeous. That's how I would do that. So color control, kind of. <laughs> Start this one from the inside and then this one from the outside and have the red at the bottom. Mmm. What do you guys think? Um, I love the idea of either of those. So that is what I have. My finished projects and my new added to the list whips <laughs> because I'm really good at adding to my whips <laughs> or the desire of the whips uh, and not actually getting to them but I really want to get to these uh, I want to get to all of them but you know you know how that goes so that's what I have that's what I know how's everybody handling the uh, the lockdowns my husband and I are doing pretty good um, it's a good thing we like each other <laughs> <laughs> That's what I can say about that. Uh, we are spending a great deal of time together. Um, we own, we have um, three TVs in the house that have cable, but only one of the TVs gets like Netflix and YouTube and you know all that. Only one of them goes online. Uh, so the streaming stuff, we can only do one. But we're not fighting, and we've not even watch TV separately from each other. Um, we don't watch a great deal of TV, honestly. We're watching more TV now that we're like in the house all the time, but, um, so I'm watching, I'm sorry to say, less YouTube videos because, um, the TV's on, uh, because of when the TV's on. And I don't really want to make my poor husband listen to YouTube videos all the, all day long. He, we sit on the same couch and so he's like he's maybe on watching videos on his phone and I'm watching videos on my phone <laughs> or we turn the TV on and watch something together um, we haven't re re uh, gone to separate rooms to watch television or anything at this point so that's good news right <laughs> we're I think two two I think I've been off work three weeks and it's two weeks that he's been home too and you know, so it's good. It's really good. Uh, and I hope you all are doing just as well. I hope everyone is safe and healthy. And I will end this video now. So you have a great day. Uh, if you have any suggestions, shout me out. Uh, and I, I right now can't even think of who I've been watching. I have been watching, just not as much as normal. Um, so I will try to catch up with those that I haven't watched. Have a great day. See you, bye.